Hello, my name is Frank Kane. I've been a guide in the cathedral for children since 1975. Now they've unleashed me onto adults for the last two years. People walk past the doors to come into this beautiful building, but they seem to forget that the doors hold a history all to themselves. Now, it was long suspected that these doors made out of oak at the north and the south sides of the nave were very old, but nobody knew exactly. But circumstantial evidence suggests that they were of great age. Firstly, the oak that it was made from clearly came from a substantial tree, and most of the very largest oaks by 1500 had been chopped down. It was also noticed that the ironwork on them seemed to be original in their original position, including the sanctuary knocker. When they looked at the doors very closely, they found no evidence that new doors had been placed on it. So they were obviously of great age. In the 1980s, they began to look at them very carefully and they found out, using dendrochronology, tree ring analysis, that all of the doors, the north and south door, all of the planks, apart from the semicircular part of the north door came from the same tree. Now that was quite astonishing. So it must have been an enormous oak tree. In the 1990s, they actually did some careful work using isotopes, radiocarbon dating, and they found out that all of the wood in the trees came from the same tree, but also they found out the date of the felling of the tree. The tree was chopped down between 1109 in 1144. So it appears that while they were building the nave and the impressive ceiling, they had cut down this massive oak tree in preparation for the doors. Now, they found out that the tree, the, the doors were jointed, not nailed together. The planks of wood were held together with tenon joints, called free tenons, and horizontally across them were dovetail joints, so they were held together without nails. Now both doors once had ironwork on them. We now have it on the south door, but it's been taken off the north door, and all that remains is three small stubs. But on the south door, using red paint, they, you can see very carefully the scroll work on the door. Now, it has been suggested by a woman called Geddes, who is an expert at this, that these ironworks were second-hand, probably bought on some sort of medieval eBay, and then put under the door. David Brown's book, he suggests that the ironwork has been cut to size because it seems to be for an even bigger door, possibly from France.